guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sierra and on this channel we talk everything beauty life and ultrasound related today we're going to be talking about the big question that i know a lot of you probably have if you're interested in ultrasound which is should you get a bachelor's a associate's or a certificate in ultrasound I'm here to tell you today that it does not matter what you choose to get. The only difference that it makes is that it will determine whether you should take the ARRT or the ARDMS exam at the end of your schooling. With most bachelor's and associate's programs, they usually are accredited, but there are a lot of non-accredited ultrasound programs that are out there. Sometimes it is really hard to find a accredited program in your area, so the only option that you have is a non-accredited program, and that is okay. Just keep in mind that if your program is not accredited by KHEP, you will have to take the ARRT, which is the American Registry of Radiologic Technologies. On that exam, you will have everything dealing with ultrasound, like OB, abdomen, small parts, all the things that you learn in general sonography will be on that test. You also will have a little bit of physics thrown in there too. If you go on the ARRT website, it will tell you what is the percentages of each section of the exam and how it's weighted. This is very important information, whether you're taking the ARRT or the ARDMX. If you have a bachelor's already, or you go to an accredited program, you are qualified to take the ARDMS without having to take the ARRT. You do not have to get your ARDMS registry after you take ARRT, but most jobs and facilities require it. So I would strongly recommend you getting your ARDMS registry after taking the ARRT after you pass it. ARDMS stands for American Registry for Diagnostic Medical Sonography. This is a big exam that you will take and it is different from the ARRT. The ARRT is about seven hours long so you will be at your testing center for seven hours or more taking that exam and they have three different sections on it. With the ARDMS, you will specifically be doing what you choose to be registered in, whether that's OB or abdomen. Whichever one that is, that is the exam that you're taking. But like I said before, it does not matter whether you get a certificate, a bachelor's, or an associate's in sonography. The only thing that matters is those two exams that I told you about just now. A lot of people feel like more schooling equals a higher pay. While that can be true for some careers in this specific profession, the amount of degrees you have doesn't really matter. You can have a bachelor's or you can have a associate's. Either way, most likely you'll probably be making the same pay as someone else who has a higher degree as you. They may end up making a few dollars more, but that honestly depends on the facility. The only thing that really changes your pay in sonography is the amount of experience you have and the certain registries that you have. Abdomen and OB is one of the most common registries and the most basic registries that you can have. Then you start to get up into your RVT with vascular or fetal echo, pediatrics, and that's when you get into your more difficult specialties that they have. Also, whether you're full-time PRN or you're a traveler can also make a difference in your pay as well. Most travelers make buku money. Some people may not be interested in traveling because they may like that routine of going to work Monday through Friday at a specific time. So it's not always for everyone, but there is certain things that you can do that can make a difference in the amount of pay that you are paid. Lastly, where you live can make a big difference in the amount of money you make. The amount of money that you make in, say, Texas or Florida is going to be totally different from the amount of money that you make in California because everyone knows the cost of living in California is way higher than it is in the south or in lower income type states and cities. So of course you will be getting paid a whole lot more in those bigger, more populated, more higher income cities or states versus a state where they don't really make that much income. So I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.